Here's your weather video for this Sunday, January the 31st. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. It's hard to believe the month is already gone. I haven't even had time to start thinking about what the climate uh, numbers have looked like for this first month of 2021. We'll do that later today. But for now, uh, here's a look at the radar uh, around 630 on this Sunday morning, showing uh, showers over uh, mainly the southeastern two-thirds of Alabama, generally southeast of I-59. Temperatures generally in the 50s. You see those uh, upper 40s. Uh, over northeast Alabama, but um, actually been uh, a rather mild uh, overnight and morning here. Those showers will continue to push on to the southeast, as we'll see in just a minute. Uh, may see a few more showers later today ahead of a cold front, but they'll be very light in nature and uh, quite spotty. Uh, winter weather uh, warnings and advisories uh, from the National Weather Service. Uh, uh, heavy snow overnight from Chicago down through Indiana into western Ohio. Some uh, Amount six to eight inches in those areas. Um, the activity or most of the uh, colors shown on the map uh, over the mid Atlantic and northeast uh, are for the expected storm later tonight and tomorrow. Uh, some uh, light freezing rain, uh, as we should have looked on that last map uh, in the uh, Asheville, North Carolina area, winter weather advisories for parts of western North Carolina this morning, along with the winter storm watch for um, the upper low. Uh, well, what may cut off as an upper low, a trough over the eastern United States that will bring some snow tonight to the mountains of, uh, of uh, western North Carolina into Monday morning. But uh, then we'll see um, a widespread blockbuster snow uh, for much of the mid-Atlantic into the northeast, uh, even in places like Washington, D.C., New York City, uh, Philadelphia, up into Boston, well, they'll, uh, where they may see a foot of snow in spots. Parts of eastern Pennsylvania may see uh, up to two feet of snow. And uh, mountains of uh, West Virginia, Western Maryland could see uh, between two and three feet. So uh, quite a snowstorm coming. This is the upper pattern across North America this morning, showing a big ridge over the western United States. That ridge is going to uh, is going to amplify uh, and become stronger, uh, reaching further up into Canada. And as it does, it's going to dig that trough uh, further down into the eastern United States, uh, setting up the stage for lots of cold air to spread in. Lots of cold air uh, and moisture means snow. This is the surface this morning showing a uh, surface load just north of St. Louis. Very complex set of fronts there, including an occluded front. Someone asked me what an occluded front was yesterday. Uh, and that occluded front means that the cold front is basically uh, caught back up to the warm front in that area and forced the warm air to the north or to uh, up upwards, and uh, you're dealing with basically three air masses there. Uh, but it's a sign that the low is weakening uh, across Alabama. We got a cold front uh, approaching Memphis and an even uh, stronger cold front near Little Rock, and um, you, you could see, you know, from the temperatures there that the uh, readings over north out Al northeast Alabama were still in the upper 40s, uh, sort of that warm front that is now. Uh, extending from about Jasper to Birmingham uh, down to Rockford. Now, as we go through time, that low uh, there will weaken, but a new low will form off the coast of North Carolina, and this is by uh, uh, really noon tomorrow uh, showing uh, an upper low or, or, or a surface low uh, southeast of the New Jersey coast, and that will be quite a nor'easter uh, for the mid-Atlantic and the northeast, as we talked about, and the big thing will be winds. We'll look at that in just a second. These are snowfall totals off the European. Look at those totals, eastern Pennsylvania. Uh, some, you know, 15, 16, 18 inches there, places like Lancaster, uh, over into the Philadelphia area. Uh, these are, of course, you know, four-day totals off of the uh, European, showing those heavy snowfall amounts in the New York City area, up to around a foot, and uh, maybe even a little more, some of the uh, outlying areas. Uh, Boston is kind of on that rain snow line. They'll be at that place where you might get 5 inches, you might get 12 inches. Uh, to the north there, you can see through eastern Massachusetts some 12-inch amounts. The Boston area uh, might be on the edge there. The other big story, of course, will be winds. We're dealing, we dealt with some overnight, gusty winds, and they'll be gusty through the day today. As a matter of fact, they'll be gusty through all of tomorrow and in, even to tomorrow night. Uh, won't probably reach these 40 to 45 mile an hour amounts that the uh, maximum gust that the European is showing, but gust to 25 miles an hour will be coming across Alabama, northern Mississippi, northern Tennessee. Now, here's where the thing really wraps up. You can see 
Uh, winds gusting to around 50 miles an hour in New Jersey into the New York City area. Uh, also, uh, New England, southern New England, parts of Rhode Island, uh, Connecticut, and Massachusetts. So that's going to be quite a formidable storm. This is noon today off of the uh, HRRR. Uh, giving the general idea here, you've got the, uh, the band of showers that we're dealing with this morning over southeast Alabama, a few light showers still showing up, we, actually some clearing, dry air working in behind the uh, system this morning in the middle levels of the uh, atmosphere uh, on top of that moisture that we've got down low may give us a little bit of clearing, so you should could see some sunshine this morning, but uh, skies should become cloudy as we go through the day, a few light showers show back up. Here's the front. At noon today, you can see it over northwest Alabama. This is, uh, we're going to tell it by the dew point. Uh, dew points in the middle, upper 50s, ahead of the front, quickly falling back into the 40s uh, behind it. But you can see that front there and probably lined up from southeast of Columbus, Mississippi to Jasper, up to uh, Decatur and into uh, Tennessee. Uh, by 6 p.m., that front has progressed to well south of the uh, I-59 corridor. Uh, gusty northwest winds behind it. Temperatures quickly falling into the 40s behind it. And these are uh, temperatures... Uh, by Monday morning, you can see uh, 30s uh, across all of Alabama, except for the extreme southern part, uh, with freezing temperatures near the Tennessee Valley, middle 30s are in the I-20 quarter, and some upper 30s to the southeast of that. These are high temperatures for Monday, and it's going to be uh, a struggle for the mercury to make it back out of the 30s over the northern third of Alabama. We should be in the lower 40s in the I-20 quarter with uh, middle and upper 40s to the south. And since we've been talking a lot about temperatures, this is uh, temperature trends off the National Blend of Models, um, showing uh, those 40s uh, at Birmingham tomorrow, upper 30s to the north. will uh, recover barely back into the upper 40s on Tuesday after a, a widespread freeze um, Tuesday morning and even colder for Wednesday morning, but we'll be warming up by afternoon with highs back in the middle 50s. We'll touch 60 on Thursday. Next rain system is in here on Friday with highs in the upper 50s, and then a cool down behind that system into the weekend. Some disagreement among the models there. We'll come back to that in just a minute. Uh, we generally stay fair, dry, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, maybe some increasing clouds late in the day on Thursday. A few showers could show up after midnight, but I think most of the rainfall holds off until early Friday morning, surface load near Texarkana um, with a, uh, a slow-moving frontal system uh, battling the subtropical ridge to the southeast. Lots of rainfall showing up uh, from northeast Texas through Arkansas into western Tennessee and Kentucky. Some freezing rain over northwestern Arkansas, some snow back in Oklahoma. Um, as we go to um, Friday night at 6 o'clock, that surface lows near Knoxville uh, with uh, the, a good bit of freezing precipitation there, western Tennessee, western Kentucky. That could be a big problem. Some snow just to the north of that. In Alabama, it's all rain. I don't expect we'll have any problems, but we'll be watching that very closely. And by Saturday morning, a little lingering snow in the Nashville area, but uh, some uh, uh, just rain for southeastern Alabama, looking a lot like this morning. So that may be a little more widespread surface low there um, near Charlotte. Uh, with a good bit of rain over uh, eastern Alabama, northern Georgia, into eastern Tennessee, western North Carolina. And then by Sunday, uh, the GFS thinks we're uh, dry and cooler. So uh, some disagreement uh, between the models on what happens Saturday, so don't take the forecast to the bank there just yet. I'm calling for clearing and cooler conditions, but uh, uh, some indications that we could have lingering rain into Saturday, um, which will be... And not quite as cool. So that will be interesting for sure. Next voodoo period, we'll look out at extended range here Thursday, February the 11th, showing a good bit of freezing precipitation to our west. That'll be something to keep an eye on. Here in Alabama, it's all liquid uh, for the time being. But here's uh, uh, Valentine's Night, 6 p.m. on the 14th, showing a widespread precipitation across Alabama uh, as another system works this way in here, but no uh, freezing precipitation anywhere in sight. Hope you caught weather brains this week. Jeff Craven, the gentleman who we uh, uh, we thank for creating the National Blend of Models, uh, is was our guest. And uh, this Monday night, we'll have uh, another outstanding show with Dr. Louis Ussolini, who is the head of the National Weather Service. We'll have lots of questions for him. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday morning. I'll have notes on the blog, a forecast update coming up at noon. James will be here all week with two days, and Scott will be here next Saturday. I'll see you next Sunday, and until I get to do that, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at.